Come say hello. Come say hello. This is Benjamin. Benjamin, come say hello. Anyway, I wanted to say hello and thank everybody that's been so loyally watching our our videos and we've been so enjoying putting them out can't believe we're almost at 1200 subscribers it's so awesome we thank you very much for joining in and uh and watching a little bit of a funny story i've uh, just only had a cell phone for about a month i'm learning a lot of things uh some of them good uh, a lot of them good uh some of them kind of weird um but anyway uh i can't believe the world that's just opened up to me by having one of met so many talented faces out there of course not personally but i feel like i've learned a lot from y'all we're planning to do a lot of uh, really interesting what are you looking at benjamin just spotted the phone uh -oh. all right what do you think hey right, you kind of Hugging the show again. You can move along. Come on. <laughs> That's Benjamin. Again, thank you all for subscribing. Don't forget to punch the like button and send it out to other people and all that good stuff. We appreciate that. I was uh, going to mention one particular person that I have found. Her, she goes by Opus LNA. Got a great channel on costuming. Seems to like to do historical costuming, which is a lot of fun. That's what I loved to do since I was a kid. Won't go into how long ago that was, but it was a while. So I've appreciated checking out her and Jimmy the Welch Viking and so many others that have enlightened my life. And I was watching one of Opus's shows and she was doing something that I'd never heard of. Actually, Jimmy the Welch Viking had mentioned it in passing, this um, thing called tablet weaving. And I, like I said, I'd never heard of it. I've dressed looms, floor looms, and things like that before, but this was a new one for me. And so there, I, she's building this beautiful apron dress, uh, Viking period apron dress, and it's um, it was gorgeous. And then she was going to do some detailed trim on it, and she wanted a piece of, what would you call it? Not ribbon but braid i guess so you don't just go buy that stuff so uh she was there weaving it away and wow that's pretty cool but i noticed that she's using this shuttle it's a fairly uh simple thing it's just uh let's see what i got anything hang on i got something similar i'll be right back yeah what she was using was something similar to one of these items that one would wrap string up on to go fishing only hers was much smaller of course and, and quite flat and streamlined but it was passed through the uh, shed of the warp strings and this would have the weft wrapped onto it it was pretty cool one of the ears these little devices was broken off kind of like this one and this one's a little broken too so i thought well that'd be a fun thing to to fix for her so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make it out of bone. And I went and I can't believe I actually bought bone, but I did. Went down to the local grain store, pet store, found bone. These are very nice ones. You can see this particular type of bone. I'm similar in both cases here with a very flat plane on one side. Not round, it's kind of oval. And uh, so what I'm going to do is on the bandsaw, I'm going to slice off a piece. I haven't decided exactly which one I'm going to use. Maybe this one. And then I'm going to carve her up a new shuttle. We'll see how that goes anyway. But again, thank you guys for, for watching. And uh, we hope to have a lot of uh, really interesting things coming up. We're going to be doing jewelry. And we're going to get into some sewing projects. Probably more into the winter time. There are things that I had wanted to do. Like birch bark this year it might have to wait till next year i got kind of wrapped up in working on fly rod crosby my summer has slipped away so you have to do those sort of things when uh the peeling season is right we're already heading well we're in february um august now so the bark's starting to tighten up on trees and that makes it kind of tough getting where i need to be with the birch bark 
So, but uh, we're going to touch on um, atlatl construction and, and uh, use and oh, just a bunch of things that I just can't wait. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So stick with us. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.